Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Jermaine Talks and I hope you'd be doing absolutely fantastic and safe. Today I'll be talking about non-disclosure agreements and their perceived relationship with the security uh, point in any technology driven contracts. I'll be coming up with some interesting examples so please stay tuned till the end of the video. So NDA, non-disclosure agreement, what is it? It's actually a uh, an agreement between two parties, sometimes unidirectional, sometimes bidirectional, which kind of stops or prevents the party from using the data or information from any unintended purposes other than the one which is stated in the contract, which is the intended one. And it says that the parties will take reasonable uh, uh, precautions in order to <coughs> protect the information. Also. NDA is mostly mostly used as a contract vehicle for all the confidential trade secrets and such sort of data. It singles out any sort of private uh, or customer information and so this is the this is the more or less the boundaries of an NDA. Coming to the security point, uh, mostly uh, people think that if we have a very very fortified kind of uh, non-disclosure agreement we are good to go and we don't have to worry anything on the security front but sadly they sound similar but they are quite far from each other security clauses in the security point or security dimension or clause in any contract is the procedural aspect of the data security as we have in criminal uh, code as criminal procedure code of conduct so Similarly, it says that how the data would be treated, how the data would be transmitted from this point to this point. And, and there would be protocols, there would be security audits and like PCI DSS security or ISO 27001 and how would be the data audits, uh, data audit would be conducted, what would be the firewall. Uh, uh, architecture what would be the security infrastructure in terms of the IT uh, things and and what would be the protocol driven that okay this information can only be shared uh, be accessed by this uh, person with the use of so and so uh, uh, use of uh, encryption keys and things like that it's very much like at the very ground level how the data is flowing from one hand to another and so on and so forth and unless and until the security point is not fortified NDA is just something like up there in the air it's more of a theoretical uh, uh, it, it, it may uh, uh, a poorly or an absence of uh, a poorly drafted or an absence of security clause in a contract may render the whole NDA toothless uh, or, or say uh, if the uh, if there is no security uh, uh, protocols then how would you safeguard the data the uh, even if it's covered by NDA uh, NDA uh, also uh, is a thing where uh, where the information is being handled by real human hands like okay I am reading the formula of this uh, of this medicine and this is a very secret uh, uh, formula of the, this diabetes uh, medicine but if I have to transmit it from me to some scientist in the company or some lab attendant or anyone, so how to transmit that information so that this drug uh, information is not leaked? So that is what the NDA and uh, it, it, it goes hand in hand with the security concept and so both of them are equally important. Security uh, uh, clause stops at the contract uh, uh, termination or at the uh, uh, general uh, tenure, tenure end of the contract. However, NDA outstretches uh, the contract by maybe two times or three times or whatever way it is uh, drafted. Uh, NDA is more on the legal side of things, more on the reg uh, regulatory side of things. Security is more on the technology side of things. And, uh, and what is imperative to understand that both these have to be tightly coupled with each other in order to deliver the punch. So that is uh, what my uh, point on these two uh, concepts and I hope you liked uh, my points and in case if you uh, 
feel connected uh, with with the ideas uh, outlined by me please like share and comment the video i look forward thank you